guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Brunette, and welcome to my channel. Well, hello June! We are in the month of June, that means May is over, and I'm ready to show you all the plants that I got in the month of May. I was able to get some really good plants, and I was also able to get some pretty good plant supplies. And also, I will kind of throw in a little update on a plant that I got, so you guys will be able to kind of see like how that's doing. So I'm gonna kind of throw that in there, and you'll see why, but yeah. So let's talk about my budget. <laughs> uh, I went over budget by a little bit. I mean, not by a lot, but I, I definitely went over budget <laughs> um, with my last purchase. It was a purchase that I needed to get for my plants and it was something that I couldn't wait until June to buy. So I, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I misjudged that a little bit. <laughs> I spent about $67. <laughs> so, um, which isn't a lot, but it is a lot at the same time. So I'm going to go over everything that I got in the month of May. And I'll also let you guys know like how much things cost as they go on. And let me know in the comments if this is like a cool format for you where you will be able to kind of see like what I spend and like how much it actually is. And then we'll give you the grand total at the end so you can kind of see because I'm pretty sure if my math is right, it's around $67. But we'll do the math together as we go on. But before I show you all the plants and all the stuff that I got in the month of May, please like this video at the end if you love it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps me out my channel a lot with the likes and the subscriptions. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about the plants that I got in May and plant supplies. So like I like to do, I will kind of go over what I got as I got it. So the first purchase that I made in the month of May are these beautiful Tradescandias. So these are, from what I've been told, these are like the world's easiest plants to take care of, like easier than pothos. Now, I will say I got this May 3rd, so right at the get-go, I bought this plant. And I will say that this plant has been super easy so far. So it's actually kind of hard for me to tell you plant care only because when I got this plant um, and I'll put a picture up here if I still have the picture when I first got it but this plant when I got it I got it from Etsy and it just kind of came in a little bit long and leggy and I kind of wanted more of a bushier plant so what I did was as soon as I got it I pretty much propagated it I kind of chopped it up and propagated it until I got about half an inch to an inch root, put it in some root hormone, and then I planted it. So it's been planted for about, I would say it's been about a week and a half that I've had it planted. These grew roots insanely quickly. Like it was so quick and normally like they say pothos is like the easiest plant to like propagate because just it grows so fast. I found that these like these roots like shut out like literally the next day. Like it was just so crazy to see something grow so fast. So I will give them that. They are quick growing with roots. So if you propagate them, um, they grow really fast. I water propagated these for about Honestly, it was about like two, three weeks and they've been in the pot for about a week and a half. So yeah, but like, oh, look how gorgeous this is. Like these were actually like a wishless plant of mine just because it's like, it's an easy variegated like plant that's like pretty inexpensive. You know, like me, like I'm all about the easy, simple plants, but also like I absolutely like, if you don't know this, and I've said it in many of my other videos, I am a huge plant nerd over stripy foliage. Stripy foliage and trailing plants, forget it. That's my like kryptonite. 
Like, I just, like, I have to get them. And this is a trailing plant. And also, it is a striped plant with variegation. Come on. This plant was just, like, made for me. So, I'm really excited to see, like, how this plant grows. Um, so far, I've gotten, like, if you guys can see here, I got, like, a lot of, like, new leaves and new growth kind of coming through. So, I'm really excited to kind of see where this plant goes. That is my trade of Scandia. And, yeah, first plant purchase of May. So, the next purchase that I got in the month of May is a plant that I've been kind of wanting for a long time and it's also a plant that I've been noticing on Instagram kind of just going crazy. I've seen a lot of people getting this plant and it again is a plant that I, at, I had a I honestly should have waited. <laughs> I did a um, Hoya collection and I probably should have waited because I've added now I think like two Hoyas to my collection since that video. So I'll have to do an updated video on, on all the Hoyas that I have, but I wanted to show you my Hoya Bella. So this is my Hoya Bella and I recently got this again from Etsy. It's not as big of a Hoya as I kind of want. And sometimes it's hard to buy smaller Hoyas just because they don't grow as fast as some other plants but i'm really excited to kind of watch this guy grow and you can see like right in here sorry i'm like shaky i've had so much coffee today um <laughs> but you can see in here like maybe we'll try to focus that anyway you can probably see like i have a lot of like new growth kind of popping through um, I have found, so I got this on the 4th of, uh, May. So, um, yeah, like literally the day after I got the trade of Scandia, I got this and I feel like most of my Hoyas, except for my Linares, most of my Hoyas like kind of, um, I feel like I kind of treat them like a semi succulent. So I kind of like put them in sandier soil and I kind of don't water them as much and they're totally fine with that. They have such thick leaves that they hold the moisture in their leaves. But I found that this is one of those Hoyas, like the Linares, that likes a lot more water. I, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but it came to me a little bit thirsty. Some of the foliage is a little bit um, wrinkly. I know that the um, Hoya Bella does have kind of more of a crinkier, crinklier, crinklier, crinklier leave. Um, so I'm not super worried about that, but I kind of, you know, want to make sure that she's nice and hydrated. And I've also heard a lot of people say that this is a very thirsty Hoya. That's what I've been told and that's what I've experienced so far. So yeah. This sits um, on the plant shelf behind me. It kind of sits like right on the top shelf under grow lights. So this gets plenty of light, like 12 hours of grow light light. Um, and yeah, so hopefully one, one day we will have a fuller plant and it will be bigger. But for now, it's adorable and it's so cute. And I just, I, I love to watch, like I like to get little plants just to watch them grow and get bigger. And yeah, so. So this next purchase was a purchase that was kind of an impulse purchase. I was walking around TJ Maxx. I was looking for something. I honestly don't even remember what I was looking for, but it wasn't what I got. <laughs> and I was kind of browsing through like the home decor section and I was also in the kitchen section. So it must have been something for kitchen. I don't remember. It was like I feel like it was a year ago that like the second third week of May when I got this so I feel like that was like six years ago May has been such a wild month for me so <laughs> so this is also going to be an update so you'll be able to kind of see like an update on a plant that I got so you'll be able to kind of see like how it's doing <laughs> and yeah so I got this pot this is actually <laughs> a pot for like sugar or like flour or something. It was in the um, section where you get like kitchenware. 
and I saw it and I was like, how cute would that be for a pot? So I got it for a pot. And I will try to pull this out, but I have a gelato. <laughs> I have a, you can kind of see it in there a little bit, maybe not. I'm trying to, oh, you can kind of see it in there. So I got um, the Taliente, I think it's called, um, gelato and uh super delicious very good I, I literally will see like garbage and i'm just like oh like i can use that as like a grower pot and it fit perfectly in here the only thing is i had to cut the top of it off but it fit perfectly and then i drilled like two holes in the bottom so i believe the pot comes to like here because i know that there's a lot of room i actually had to put um another like so the part that i cut off i cut the side of it so I could kind of close it in a little bit like a c-shape and I put it on the bottom so it kind of raised it up a little bit so it doesn't keep sinking down that's just kind of like a little tip or trick that I do but um yeah so with that this is my silver stripe and my cream splash so <sighs> My silver, my silver stripe is a plant that I got for the month of March, I believe. And yeah, we have a lot of like new growth. Don't look at this guy, that is my silver stripe. But I got like a lot of new growth. It's a little underwhelming. I don't know why they're not growing super like crazy, like variegated, not like this boy, but um, it has plenty of light and plenty of humidity. But I do have a few leaves that are unfurling that are a little bit more variegated. And also the stem is super variegated. So hopefully in time, I'll get some more variegated growth. But also I have this guy right here, which is a cream splash cutting with this little baby, the cutest little variegated baby. Um, I kind of put them together just because they are almost the same plant. I almost can't even tell them apart. So I put them together so they can kind of grow together and maybe eventually once they get bigger, I'll kind of separate them. But for now they're together and yeah, they're doing pretty well. Um, like I said, I mean, I've gotten new growth from both the cream splash and that, um, the two, if you watched my Etsy purchase gone wrong video, <laughs> um, you'll, you'll see like these two, maybe three, bigger leaves um i actually found out sad a little bit of sad news because i tried desperately to save those plants i wound up losing both of the leaves um what had happened was when i propagated them i wound up losing some i wound up losing almost all of the nodes so the ones the nodes that were growing roots, grew roots beautifully. Like I'm talking like I had like a root ball, like it was so rooted, but there was no node for any new leaves to come out. So technically that's called like a blind leaf. I know like the Hoya Carey is like been like the poster child of like blind leaves just because unless you have a node on it, it's not gonna grow another leaf. So, I enjoyed them for a while, but they wound up dying. So I, you know, threw them out. <laughs> and, but I was able to save that one um, leaf that kind of came out. Um, I propagated that in some sphagnum moss and I planted it in. It's got really good, I think it's like got two to three inch roots. Like they're real established. So hopefully that will take to the soil and it will take and it will grow and we will have a plant because I'm sick of the, I really just want a full one, but you know, it just takes time and it's gonna just take a little bit of love and care. And I feel like because I've dealt with so much with this plant, it's gonna be that much more special to me. So that's just a little update on that as well. I just wanted to throw that in there just cause I'm showing you the plant. So there's one more thing that I got for the month of May and it was the thing that put me over the edge. Let me go get it. Fox farm soil. This baby, oh. 
Hi. So, I'm not gonna leave it on my lap. I'm just gonna leave it in front of me. I know it's off camera, but you guys saw. I get the Fox Farm Ocean, the Ocean Forest um, Soil. You probably saw when I brought it over <laughs> that it is already opened. I already dug into it. I bought that soil um, about less than a week ago because I needed it. I absolutely needed it. And it was like the end of May, so I could have added it to the June budget, but I already bought a plant for June, so <laughs> we're just we're just gonna add that to May and just take it as a loss. Um, but yeah, I got some Fox Farm soil. I needed soil so bad, and the fact that like I've added new plants to my collection, and it's spring, so I'm starting to kind of repot some of my plants, and so I needed some really good soil, and I swear by Fox Farm, I love it so much. I've had some issues with other brands, I won't name them just because I don't want to throw them under the bus, but um, some commercial brands I've had problems with, with like I got this bag of soil that had, it was like literally filled with fungus gnats. Read the reviews before you buy, before you buy any soil, read reviews because they will tell you. But yeah, I've known a lot of people talk about Fox Farm. This is actually my second bag of Fox Farm soil and my plants seem to love it. They absolutely love the soil. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by, I'm not sponsored by Fox Farm. This is just my honest review of the soil. Um, I did wind up getting this at Target. Um, I got it for like $35, it was on sale. So it was like $35 for the big bag or 20, it was like $28 for like the medium size bag. And I'm like, you get almost three times the amount for a bigger bag. So I might as well just get the bigger bag. Plus you need $35 to get free shipping at Target anyway. So I'm like, you know what? We'll get it. There's also one more thing that I got on this Target order, which actually, now thinking about it, I didn't add that to my, I did not add that to my, uh, my budget. So I definitely went way over budget because this was $10. So let's say it's about almost $80 that I spent in May. So I was so excited when this came out that I was like, not only is it Target, but it's one of my favorite plant influencers like ever. And that is Hilton Carter. I don't know if you guys know about Hilton Carter, but I do have a couple of his books. I just love his vibe. I love his personality. He's so like down to earth and so humble. And I love that. When they decided to merge with Target, I had to get something. Like I, I was like, I don't know what I'm getting, but I gotta get something and I got this. So beautiful, oh my gosh. So this is a wall hanger that I put a pretty little pothos in just cause like, I don't know. I just kind of like pulled it out of the, the bigger pothos that I have. But um, can we talk about this for like two solid seconds? This is so cute. It's a wall hanger, hangs on my wall. Yeah, it's like, uh, like the, uh, I don't even know. Like it's just, it's so gorgeous. It's a stone um, planter. The only thing I will say about this planter, actually there are two things that I will say about this planter. One, hello, no drainage hole. Does not have a drainage hole, but that's okay. I actually wound up, so because Pothos, this Pothos actually does not have a crazy big root system, which, you know, it's all right, but what I did was I added a grower pot to it. So what I did was I took a grower pot and I cut the sides. So when you collapse it, it kind of overlaps on the sides. And then I just filled it with soil, squeezed it down in, and then planted the plant in there. And it works out fine. Like it drains perfectly. The other thing that I will mention about this planter is the back. So the back, this little hole right here, if you don't use something that has like a narrow kind of spigot, you might wind up getting water through the back of this and getting water down your wall. 
It's not a huge deal. You could always just wipe your wall, but you don't want any kind of like lingering water like on your wall or anything like that. So that's the only two things that I would say about this um, wall hanger. Actually, no, there's one more thing that I would say. I wish I got more of these. Like I wish I got like another one. Can you imagine like four of these? Like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> when I got this, it was actually kind of funny. I wound up like, trying to put it like six different places and i was like i told my husband i'm like maybe like i'll buy like two more like we'll just have two more on there and he's just like rolls his eyes and just walks away from me <laughs> just like knows better now does not to entertain me so yeah so yeah that is uh another thing that i got in the month of may i can't believe i almost forgot this which puts me at yeah, I'll put the, uh, well, I'll, I added it up as we've gone because I don't, I honestly don't know how much I spend. I should probably keep track of that a little bit more, but I will put the grand total right here so you guys can see how much we've spent in the month of May or I've spent, you guys didn't spend anything. I've spent all the money. Um, but yeah, so that is my plant haul for the month of May. Um, let me know like at the bottom like what kind of plants did you guys get for the month of May or like what supplies have you gotten or if you have any questions about any of the plants or plant supplies that I got I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have um, But yeah, well, I hope you guys all have a great day and